charge of the action, Joe Fair, but firm Cortez. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a special 10 round contest in the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with leopard trim and weighing in at 137 pounds. His professional record, 36 victories, including 26 knockouts, six defeats with a draw. He's fighting out of Las Vegas, but he is originally from Masaka, Uganda. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the Ugandan destroyer, Justin Juko. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the silver trimmed with white and weighing 138 pounds. He's a 2000 Olympian, now with a perfect professional record consisting of nine bouts. Nine victories, including seven wins by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, from Caguas, Puerto Rico, here is the undefeated Miguel Angel Cotto. Okay, gentlemen, we want all the rules in a dressing room. Ya Luis la regan el camerino. Espero una pelea limpia. I want a good, clean fight. Cuida con los golpes bajos. Check them out. Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. All right, guys. Thank you. Juco is a true warrior. We hope that all of the work he's put into this fight will pay off in the sense that he doesn't get hurt. All the reports that I have gotten are that he's had a real hard time in recent months. When properly thrown, I think the left hook is the most beautiful punch in boxing. Miguel Cotto has a great natural left hook, almost like a gift from God. It is so quick and so fluid. Juco has to look out for that major weapon on Cotto's part. Look at the experience. 36 matches in his opponent. Can you believe that? Nine boxing matches? Well, actually, 43 fights for Juco. 36 wins, six losses, and 36 a 36 wins. Yep. Oh, and there's a huge experience difference here. But Juco knows what kind of prospect he's in with. He speaks respectfully about Cotto and all his talent and ability. He says, I'm going to bring it to him hard. The African man is coming hard. I'm going to test him. 36 boxing matches. You should be able to outthink, outmaneuver, outmove, out everything your opponent. Yeah, but he won't be able to outgun him if Cotto's able to land because Cotto's stronger, George. Guy would have to be in bad condition <laughs> to allow a guy with nine boxing matches to outdo him. It just doesn't make sense. But it happened with Muhammad Ali and Michael. What is it? Michael it, Leon didn't you Spence. beat a few guys on the way up who had 30, 40 fights behind them, George? Didn't you knock out a few guys who had a vast experience deficit or, or advantage over you? Well, they were tomato can. <laughs> <laughs> That's different. Yeah, and Justin Juco has not previously been a tomato can, that's for sure. Good fighter. That's why Cotto's fans are excited about this, and maybe why, maybe why Cotto has been a little cautious in the first two minutes of round one. Cotto is just sitting there waiting for one punch. Juco working his jab. He's been more active with the jab in round one than has Cotto. I think it's a wonderful job by a matchmaker to put together a fight like this. That's matchmaking. Maybe has everybody wondering, can it happen? Your Should compliments happen? to Bruce Trampler That's it. at uh, top rank. Well, I think what they believe, George, is that Juco would be a good name on Cotto's... Hard left hook to the body by Cotto. ...on Cotto's record. missed over the top with the right hand and Cotto was there to nail him in the ribcage with a left hand shot that was the best punch of the round and as we go to the corner 
in Miguel Cotto's corner. He'll listen to some Spanish from his trainer, Evangelista Cotto, and our interpreters, Ray Torres, again. All right, let, let's have a spit bucket here. Let's get some water. How are you feeling? Good? Take a little more water. Hey, miss, make him miss. Make him miss punching. Don't just stand, stand there when he's trying to get the punch. Back him up with the jab. We gotta hit it. I gotta hit him with the jab. I gotta find him. Now back him up. More fence. Keep more fence. There's the quickness of that left hook by Cotto. You can't buy that kind of quickness with experience. Miguel Cotto, Puerto Rico in the sequin trunks. Rising prospect, Justin Juco of Uganda. Longtime gym rat here in Vegas and Los Angeles, most recently working in Freddie Roach's gym down in LA. The wild card gym where the great Manny Pacquiao holds, holds forth as 122 pound champion of the world. Juco could win this box match hands down with just jabbing and not allowing himself to bend over at all. Stand straight up, jab all night, he could win this fight. Bends his head, bends his waist, that's the only time he can get in trouble. Let's see if he's got the energy to do it. Doesn't even take any energy. With that much experience, it's like a walk down the street. It seems to me that Juco is fighting in a much more measured way than we have seen him before. He's got to make certain he doesn't bend over. That's the problem. Well, he's also fighting close to 10 pounds north of where we've seen him before, Larry, yeah. which, which could have something to do with the more measured pace. There's another left hook to the body by Cotto. If you're Cotto, you want to land hard shots, you got to be landing them and then throw the hooks to the body to keep the guy in front of you. He hasn't done anything to say, look, I want to hit you with this, so I'm going to slow you down for it. Just sits there and plot and waits for one shot. Juco accurate and effective with his jab so far in the first couple of rounds. But he keeps making the mistake of bending over. Don't bend your waist with a punch. Here. And when he bends over, Cotto pops him with the left hook, either to the top of the head or to the rib cage. Sooner or later, he's going to pop an uppercut, uppercut in there, and that's really going to be trouble. President Bush uh, recently started a campaign for Americans uh, to take off some weight, get in condition. Cotto weighed more than he does right now when he was 10 years old. He was a little butterball who grew up to have a uh, body beautiful as a junior welterweight. Cotto getting a little more active now as round two progresses. He only threw 28 punches in the first round. Cotto beginning to open up just a little more now, having tasted what Juco has to offer. You can see that Cotto's got some things in his fist there, in those gloves. <laughs> This is a towel here. And again, a towel. A towel. Thanks. This is me, Justin. I'm looking at this here. Yeah. Hey, Joe, you're weight a little bit too much. Yeah. You're throwing. Yeah. You need to use a bit more fence, Justin, but yeah. you're, you're just throwing one jab at a time. Okay. I want you moving the jab around the yeah, same way as you've been doing in the gym. Pop it yeah, up and down. Okay. All right? Now, listen, when he throws that hook to the body, okay. you've done it in the midst of that. Try to throw those combinations. you got to set them up. Next round. How are we feeling? How are we doing? Just calm, you know, keep your hands up and avoid the jab and you connect with the jab.
CompuBox numbers through round two. Juco has thrown 88 punches, 80 of them are jabs. He's landed 18. Cotto has landed 14 of 37 jabs, but more to the point, has gotten in his left hook. Juco's corner told him to double up on the jab. Don't go for one jab at a time. And they're right. If he can keep that jab and keep circling, don't move backwards. Just circle. He can do a good thing. Juco was knocked down three times by Carlos Famous Hernandez, fighter we saw against Floyd Mayweather in Grand Rapids, Michigan, when Mayweather had to finish the fight with two bad hands. Hernandez didn't look that night like a knockout puncher, but he was able to put away Juco. And now Cotto is beginning to land some shots. That right hand, he didn't really follow all the way through, but the target is opening up. Juco's going to the rink, to the ropes now. That's a problem when you're in with a puncher. Stay away from the ropes. Now southpaw stance for Cotto, and as he switches to the southpaw stance, he lands a left-hand shot, stays in the southpaw stance. Able to use the left for a cross now. Juco is around the ropes. And Juco seems momentarily confused by the southpaw stance. No reason to be on the ropes. Now Juco starts to fire right-hand leads, aware that the opponent has stepped into that southpaw stance. Cotto hammers him with the left hand anyway. Juco trying to jab, that's not going to work much. Goes back to the right hand lead, gets countered with a left hand. Cotto back to the conventional stance, immediately lands a left hook. No one in his corner is screaming, stay off the ropes. They'll just allow him to play around the ropes, get those heavy punches to, it, to his body, side of his head. Cotto is a puncher. Everything he hits you with hurts. Juco's right eye beginning to swell. There's a little puffiness under the right eye. That's the product of those continued left-hand tattoos from Cotto. Steps into the southpaw stance, steps back out. Juco stalking, trying to get back to using his jab. Cotto is trying to take a breather. This is when Judo... Juco should jump on it. Let him breathe. And there's a left hook to the temple, and down goes Justin Juco. Three, Lightning. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You okay? Walking cross legged as he went backward, and fortunate for Juco that the bell sounds there. Keep breath. Keep breath. Give me the buckle, baby. Justin. It's only a 10 round fight. You're yeah. waiting too much on him. Okay? Yeah. All right? You hear me? Yeah. Keep breath. Justin, you shouldn't be on the ropes. Take the center yeah, of the ring. Center. Everything that we practiced for nine oh, weeks, yeah, yeah. I want you to do hey. now. How are we doing? Okay? Yeah, good, yeah. Do you hear me, Justin? The center. Justin, you're waiting far too much. You're going to start doubling the jab up, doubling, tripping. Put the jab to the body and upstairs. You can, you can kill anyone with that jab downstairs. Start using it. All right? Double the jab, up and down, double it, up and down, and then one, two, left hook to the body. This has been a very mature performance by a young fighter. Patient, waiting for his opportunity, making one there with a glancing blow at the top of Juco's head as he was off balance. George, why do fighters go down from glancing blows on the top of the head? <laughs> well, off balance is the right. You know, there's an interesting thing that happened there, which is that referee Joe Cortez went to the corner and asked Joe Juco how he was doing. I don't know if Cortez does that all the time, but my guess is that the Nevada Boxing Commission has heard what everyone else has heard about the problems that Juco has had recently, being stopped in five of his last eight fights, being knocked down numerous times. Harold, how do you have it through three? Okay, Jim, three to nothing, uh, 30 to 26, Miguel Cotto. Jim, I gotta tell you something. 
The one thing that I think is missing in Justin Jugo's arsenal is he has very little snap on that jab. He seems to push it out. I mean, I see good left jabbers in my time. I guess the best I ever saw was Howard Davis, the former Olympic great. But this guy just doesn't have good snap. Very often pushes it out very, very slowly to get hit by counter punches. In any case, I honestly believe he may have sprained his right ankle when he went down because his right ankle went down underneath him. So three to nothing, Miguel Cotto. Is that what you were looking at too, George? Did you think he might have hurt his foot or his ankle? I don't think his ankle is hurt, but this guy's hitting him with some powerful shots on top of his head, and that's having more effect than anything that's happened to his ankle. There's another left hook by Miguel Cotto. Cotto is really putting these... Some guys have rocks in their fist. And every time they touch you, even though it's glancing you ordinarily, it doesn't hurt, but they hurt you. Sort of like George Foreman. <laughs> Used to knock people out with glancing blows. Heavy hands, we call it in the sport. And you're saying that Cotto shows you heavy hands. He's got heavy hands. And the shots you generally just say, ah, it didn't hurt. It doesn't bother me. I'm moving to the side. They stun you a little bit. Good patience there. Cotto had to wait an extra beat to come back with that last left hook. Made it work. Cotto does a good job of blocking shots up the middle with his elbows and his arms and his gloves. Sometimes Juco's able to get through, but a lot of the jabs are just blunted like that. And Cotto hasn't had to exert himself at all. <laughs> Hardest thing he's doing is trying to get back in position after he misses Juco. He could do this for 20 rounds. Uh, that's a good point. His balance is so good. His movement's so economical. All the energy is in the punching. I can't say the balance is all of that, uh, Jim. But really? He keeps his hands up real good. When he throws two or three shots, the guy doesn't do anything back. So he can just regroup, take a breather, and start all over again. All right. Well, that we hurt. On his that, hurt. that hurt. That's another left hook. That hurt. Three. Four, and you saw Juco five, go splay legged as he took six, the left hook to the jaw. Seven, you okay? Eight, you all right? You want to continue? He's not huh? going to tell you he's all, he's not okay. I think one more shot and he's done. He's been fighting this whole fight as if he just wanted to survive and not win. He's not going to survive. Deep breath. How are you doing here? Justin, I'm good. Okay, Listen to me. Let me tell you, you start taking us every punishment, I'm going to stop this fight. You understand? Justin, you've got to start doing something the next two rounds, because if you don't win every single round from now on, you've lost that fight. Do you hear me? Do you know what this is, Justin? Keep deep breaths. Keep de deep breathing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a double jab, and you won't give him a chance. All right? Nice and lively. Once again, late in the round, this time right on the point of the chin. And it looks like Juco will go on Cotto's resume sooner rather than later. Despite the 43 fights. So the vast gap in experience, not enough for Juco here so far. When Patty Fitzpatrick, the trainer, said to Juco between rounds, you know what this is. He was referring to that word that fighters so manfully strain to avoid, crossroads. This is the crossroads fight of Justin Juco's career. If he loses it in the fashion in which he appears to be losing, his friends and family are likely to say, Justin, that's enough. He told us he has a uh, cattle ranch among other businesses in Uganda. Um, Hopefully he can use the money from this fight. Left hook to the body. Go by into Cola. a graceful retirement. If I'm not being <laughs> premature. Fighters don't go into graceful retirement, Larry. Well, we just fade off or get knocked off. Or tremble off. <laughs> <laughs> or get rich selling grills. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's in big trouble here. This guy, Koto, is smelling blood. Going for a knockout, nothing he can do to stop him now. Very economical, Cotto. He only landed 11 punches in the last round, but he made him count. He's looking to land another big shot with the left hand. That's his money punch. Now that was a good display of his balance, Jim. Cotto. 
maybe it's getting better. And didn't fall backwards. You maybe know. it's getting better. No, maybe you know. <laughs> oh, that's a hammer. That is a hard left hook. He's always in position to throw a heavy shot. And that's what you call balance. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, George. Yeah. When I when I said he had pretty good balance, to me, you don't generate this kind of power yeah. unless you're solid on your feet. That's right. He spins off on that right foot, plants the left good, spin the right. Game performance by Justin Juco. Hands are up. Juco listened to his trainer. He's trying harder than before. No longer fighting quite as much for survival as was the case prior to now. But he's opening himself up to more counter shots. And Cotto's taking advantage. Every time he bends that head down, he just right in that power zone for Cotto. Can't do that. by Joe Cortez. One last left hook for good measure. Cotto showcasing his money punch, and we'll see how much money it makes him down the road.